one of my favorite baits to throw midsummer to, to early fall is a fat free shad number six. That time of year, the juvenile shad start to bunch up in big giant schools and the bass ambush them on, on shallower humps, high spots, big flats that come out off the lake with a sharper edge on them. They'll run those shad right up there and that's their feeding zone. This bait gets right down to it. It runs about eight to 12 feet. I like to fish it on 12 pound fluorocarbon and I can get it down right around eh, 11 feet on 12 pound fluorocarbon. The neat thing about this fat free shad is it dives straight to depth. So if I have to cover a big flat, it's already pounding the bottom of the flat as I'm reeling it in the boat. I don't have to reel it in super long cast, reel it in to get it down. It gets right down to it and starts doing what it's supposed to do. And that's ricocheting off of all the rocks and debris on these flats. That's what triggers the bite. There we go. That's a nice fish right there, man. Oh, that's a nice fish. I'm slamming it in off the rocks. Oh, stay on, baby. And uh, the water's really kind of off color, so I, I need this thing to make a big racket down there. Look at that, fat free shad, number six. That's a beauty. That's what we're looking for today. Anyway, I'm throwing, uh, I'm throwing a citrus color, and the whole, the whole key for this today is that these shad are starting to. It's a summer pattern, midsummer pattern. The shad are starting to group up, but I have to make sure that this bait is tape making constant bottom contact because. The water is off color, so they're really not chasing. So I'm slamming into the rocks, and when I get to the immature grass, I'm jerking it through the grass and, and trying to uh, get a strike that way. <laughs> 